Point Road has been a complete mess with bumper to bumper traffic due to the new system at the port. Earlier this morning was no different, of course. News 2's Ashley Yost joins us now from the Wando Terminal with more. Ashley, in the last uh, hour or so, there was a major change in the flow of traffic, right, Ashley? Take a look this way right here. There is still a long line of trucks right here waiting to turn right onto Long Point Road, but there's some good news. Take a look this way. I want to turn you over to Long Point Road. The traffic moving well on Long Point Road, so those people who aren't in trucks, just normal traffic, able to move smoothly. Take a look at this video we shot earlier of Mount Pleasant police directing the flow of traffic. So right now, Mount Pleasant PD is letting about 10 to 15 trucks go at a time. When they turn right onto Long Point Road, there's a neighborhood to your right, and if the trucks back up to that neighborhood, that's when Mount Pleasant police says no go. They don't let any more trucks come through, and it's all hands on duck out, deck out here right now. We have Mount Pleasant police out here. Mount Pleasant fire department was bringing those police officers water as they were standing out here directing traffic in the heat. Also, South Carolina Department of Transportation helping out. They have cones dividing where the trucks go and where normal traffic goes. Also, those big digital message board signs telling the trucks to stay in the right hand lane. All of this group effort is what truck drivers are saying is making it better today. Not great, but better. So I climbed up onto these trucks to talk to some of the drivers. Take a listen to our conversation. How frustrated are you? Very. How come? I can't make any money. And they're trying to blame it on the drivers and the trucking companies, saying we don't have gate codes. They rolled this out two weeks prior, and there was no backups, no issues. Fighting this traffic every day. I sat here the other day from 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock that evening, and they tell me, oh, we shut it down all of a sudden, so. You sat in it from 9 to 3 and then couldn't even get in? Couldn't even get in. That truck driver you just heard from, I asked him about how much money he thinks he's lost this week. $2,000. Another truck driver said about $1,500. We will continue to follow this. We are working to get you answers to figure out when all of this is going to be over. We're covering it throughout the day, both me and Macy McLeod. So we'll have more for you on News 2 at 5 and 6 o'clock tonight. Live right now on Long Point Road, I'm Ashley Yost. News 2, back to you, Annie.